probably wondering what I've been doing for the last month. Well, after Cape York, I had a few hiccups and it just exhausted me. So I gave up vlogging for a month. I wanted a month off, so no vlogging, no editing, no nothing. I just give it all away. So today's the first day I've actually picked up a camera and done anything and I've just got my phone. So I might give you a bit of an explanation of what's gone on in the last month and why I haven't been doing it. Well, Cape York really took it out of me. It, was, it might have looked good. Well, it might look good on the, the videos, but in reality, it really, really hurt. Um, to the point when I got back down to Townsville area, um, after about three or four days of still moving around, trying to get the bike repaired and... <coughs> pardon me, I'm having a beer. Trying to get that all sorted. Uh, my back started getting sore and sore and sore to the point where I could nearly not walk. And I end up being on endone and the oxys to... Um, just to be able to relieve the pain. So at that point, I just give it away. All too hard. So today, like I said, today's the first day. Picked up a camera. I'm at Daily Waters. So I'm in Victoria, um, not Victoria. I'm at, I'm at Daily Waters in Northern Territory. That's how long I've been not doing nothing for. And all this cool stuff. I'll show you. A few bikes. Well, there's some more. Look at this bad boy. Nice. Another sidecar. With the token fat chick sitting on it. Oh, and I forgot, for my Indian friends. Some of these. So yeah, after I decided to give it a month off, uh, I went out to McKinlay, which is, McKinlay is the pub they used in the Crocodile Dundee movies and then the bike broke down, or it was my fault that it broke down, but anyway, it broke down. So I've been stuck there for weeks and weeks and finally did a bush repair, which you'll see uh, somewhere in one of the videos. Then I just, just couldn't be bothered keeping going. I'm a one-man band. I'm not got a, anyone to help me. I've got no one to help me edit or no one to push me along. I've got no one to help fix the bike or whatever. I'm fully self-funded, um, trying, trying to learn to still video, which up until six months ago, I, I never video bugger all, bar just shit that you put on Facebook. Never edited anything. Could hardly use a computer 12 months ago. Only worked out how to use the phone, a smartphone. Um, a few years ago, when I was able to do banking and things on my phone, look up Google and do some eBay and stuff. Basically, that's... In a nutshell... I just wanted some time off. It's been hard. And this, all this, that's nine weeks on the road now. So, in two days' time, I'm going to edit the first video that I have done in a month. So, the last one you, you've seen, I think, was episode seven. I'm going to do ep eight and then kick it back off again. Sit down and do a whole bunch of them and get stuck back into it. I just wanted time off. 
So, everyone, I'll catch you around. This is me and old mate. This is good, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right, eh? This is, this is brilliant. How good are these things? We, we should do this at home. Do what? Like Stand in a barn like this? Yeah, yeah. Drink yeah, piss. piss, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm going. Um, this, I'm at Daily Waters in Northern Territory. I'll show you where I'm at. They've got this some cool stuff in here. Come and check it out. Got this old um, Chev car. This thing. And this thing. I was a bit shocked when I seen that. Because that's what my ex-wife used to be called. My second ex-wife used to be called. And... By the condition of the car, looks a lot like her. It's um, been around a been around a really long time, and I reckon everyone's had a drive of that. Anyway, that's a bit politically incorrect, or whatever you want to fucking call it. I don't really care. If you heard that, I'm not going to say sorry because you're a cunt. And I'll leave you. With this. So he's around. <laughs>